The Seminoles are wrapping up their second day of spring practice. Welcome to a Seminoles.com practice report. I'm Lane Hurt. The first practice for the Seminoles was also the first practice for new defensive coordinator Charles Kelly and new linebackers coach Bill Miller. After practice on Wednesday, head coach Jimbo Fisher said the defense did not miss a beat. Fit right in because they knew the system. And of course, Charlie fit right in, just took over and did a great job commanding the guys. And Bill's been in this system before, so they guys they feel like they fit right in. It was very good. Staying with the defense, junior Mario Edwards Jr. goes from underclassman to one of the leaders of the unit. It's certainly a step up for him, but one he eagerly accepts. It's a new look just because, you know, I'm older now. I'm not a freshman anymore, so I'm coming into my junior year. So I definitely have to, you know, step up and be a leader for the defensive line. So I feel, I feel a little responsibility as far as that. As for the secondary, with veterans LaMarcus Joyner and Terrence Brooks on to the NFL, it's up to the younger guys to step up and apply the lessons they learned from last year's leaders. Because those guys are some great players, and they, we looked up, I looked up to them as soon as I got here, even before I got to this school. So it, feel, it feels a little different, but you just know you got to step up and take that role and be able to be a leader. The Seminoles take a day off before hitting the practice fields once again on Saturday morning. And head coach Jimbo Fisher, along with selected players, will be available to the media. So expect a full practice report from that day from Scott Kodak. That'll wrap up things for now. Lane Hurt, Seminoles.com.